We want to bring in meteorologist Robert Sir and Robert, you just saw all of those people heading out of Louisiana before the storm. Are we going to see any of the impacts from this in Arkansas? Um, little, if any, more clouds. That's about it. So if you're a fan of the sunshine, Ida might take away a day of sunshine for you out there, but it is a real deal hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's where I want to start with the latest on Ida. I've kind of changed the infrared picture here to show you where the coldest cloud tops are, because that's really how a hurricane continues to show its strength. And you can see right around the center of circulation here, all this dark, very cold cloud tops out there. We had a little bit of what appeared to be dried air, dry air trying to wrap itself in. It may have just impacted the eye, which is now quite small. Might be going through one of those what are called eye wall replacement cycles. We'll have to see what happens here over the next couple of hours, but we showed those evacuations. I want to show you a live picture now out there. This is the intersection of Interstate 10 and Highway 190 just north of Lake Pontchartrain, and you can see traffic here really not moving. This is traffic heading toward New Orleans and not surprisingly, not a lot. What you don't see here is what's called contra flow where they take all directions and make them go in one direction. So you would have northbound traffic in the southbound lanes here. They haven't instituted that yet, but in other parts in and around the Gulf, they have to really prevent what you're seeing here. People really stacked. I've seen cars driving on the shoulder to get out of here. So it's a it's a mess in and around New Orleans this evening. Still a category two storm as of the latest advisory winds 105 miles an hour pressure at 976 millibars and it's going to make a beeline for the Louisiana coast tomorrow afternoon forecasted to be a category four storm and then it will really kind of slow down and take its time moving up the Mississippi here to the east of our area. We are outside of the cone of uncertainty. That is important. Then it'll become a tropical depression and slide off well to our east. We'll talk about that in a second. Temperatures right now across northwest Arkansas, mostly in the mid 80s. What a great shot of Sunset Mountain here near Winslow. You can see a little bit of haze out there on the horizon. River Valley, we're mostly in the lower 90s. Take you out to Fort Smith. Clear skies as the sun starts to dip over the horizon. Watching for a few widely scattered showers and storms tonight. Clouds will quickly clear out. And then tomorrow you can see clouds will be on the increase here and then we'll see chances for more showers and storms as we go through the afternoon hours. A little bit wider in coverage than what we had today. I think many more people will see some raindrops than did today and then tomorrow morning or Monday morning a mix of clouds and some of clouds will be on the increase Monday as we watch where Ida goes. You can see that cloud deck by Monday morning right on our doorstep and pretty much overcast Monday night and into Tuesday for at least the River Valley as well as Northwest Arkansas. Then it becomes a depression and slides off and becomes a big time rainmaker for the mid Atlantic and the Northeast. Lows tonight, mostly upper 60s and lower 70s. We'll rebound tomorrow into the 80s and 90s. Another well, no surprise. It's kind of what we've been dealing with for the past month. And you can see here the chances for those showers Monday and Sunday as well. And then those clouds from Idaho will decrease as we go through the day on Tuesday before sunshine for the rest of the week. About the same thing for the River Valley, Emma. So you, you asked about the impacts from Idaho. Thankfully, our area will be spared the worst of it.